everybody, Paul Williamson from Japan here. Been riding thoroughbreds for over 30 years now. Picked up a few tricks along the way, which I intend to show at the Ultimate Horsemanship Challenge in Queensland. And Horse Talk TV and I got a special deal for you. Get Paul's tap and half tap training videos, plus his new training book, Cool Change, all for 50% off, $27 for the entire package from horsetalktv.com.au. Hi, I'm Katie Hickson. As a horse breaker and trainer for 18 years, I thought I'd seen it all. However, when I stumbled across a YouTube video of an Aussie trainer called Paul Williamson, who was working in Japan, seeing him turn around rogue and difficult horses using a method he calls the tap, I knew this was something I just had to experience firsthand to understand what was going on. So join me as I meet Paul and we explore his unconventional approach to training horses. Paul Williamson, an expat Aussie, has worked for 20 years in Japan training and rehabilitating racehorses. His video, The Rarer, went viral on YouTube and not only shows Paul's incredible riding skills, but also how dangerous some racehorses can be. When these horses go bad, they often end up going to the knackery, and Paul wanted to change this, so developed a type of training he called hybrid horsemanship, specifically using methods he calls the tap and half tap to give these horses a second chance. The tap involves laying horses down without harming them, which helps make them calm and submissive. It was a quick fix that many of these horses needed in order to give them a second chance. The half tap involves deactivating the horse's flight response by bending their neck and bringing their nose back to their body. The half tap basically slows down the horse's flight response. It's more of a Swiss army knife if you have trouble with horses. You can do a lot of things you can't do with the horse fully awake. It basically makes them sleepy a bit. So the half tap calms them while they're standing and makes them a bit sleepy. What does the full tap do? The full tap is more of a, a tool for trainers, uh, rescue people that might need a hand. Uh, it basically shuts down the flight response full stop and stops the horse fighting completely, which will give you a chance to either re reboot their thinking. Uh, sometimes it can reboot the whole attitude and, and change a, a, a disaster story or a sad story where a horse might be going to the, the knackery and give it an extra chance. Today we're at Paul's clinic and I decided to try the full tap while Paul was there to guide me. This is not something you should try at home. It's for professionals or for people learning at these clinics as Paul has perfected the method. People can do this, it's not a strength thing, girls can do it. And, and because 90% of the people that work with horses are, are women, there's no reason they can't do it. Paul is right, I could do it. It wasn't that easy, but with proper training it can be done. I was really surprised at how calm and peaceful the horse became when she was on the ground and it was interesting to see her become quite sleepy. What's the secret of his method? Let's hear Paul explain. If you notice Tai Chi, it's all one smooth movement. And that's how you've got to move with horses fluidly. Join up with them like mer Mercury. Wherever they go, just stick with them. You can't be like robots around horses. If I just control the horse's head, whether it's a hard tap or just, just defensive riding, that gives me a virtual round pen anywhere I go and just know that it's not going to run off when I get on. Just, I control, control the area there. I've got a virtual round pack anywhere I go. Paul, what's the difference between the old method of, say, throwing a horse that, you know, old-style horse training used to do? The biggest difference is the horse is four feet on the ground. There's no uh, straps or, or leg, leg ropes, or ropes being used. The horse is going down to the ground on its own accord. The flight response is deactivated and the horse just completely loses the fight in the flight and goes down and submits. The tap is also useful for emergency workers. When we do jobs with uh, emergencies, when we do them with animals, we need a vet. The problem is we're trained to do first aid until the paramedic gets there. We had a horse with its foot caught in a barbed wire fence and it was thrashing and bucking and we'd called for a vet and it was like 20 minutes to a, a half an hour away. The half tap, would that be a, an acceptable method there, just to calm it down? Yes, yes. What happens is physically, flexing the horse's neck actually lowers the heart rate, puts him in a sleepy state, so that definitely would have, would have cooled the horse down a bit, just to stop it struggling. Uh, from there, you obviously continue patting, just calm the horse. In an emergency situation, the tap and half tap are great tools to keep a horse calm while workers organise the rescue. No drugs required, just a relaxed horse that is safer to work with. Even without straps, the horse remains calm until stimulated to rise. Now if the animal hops up, there's no straps tied to it at all. 
Paul insists the full tap is only for professionals, but the half tap is useful for most horse owners. The tap can give horses a second chance and it could save the lives of horses in emergencies.